her mm -hmm. around. All right, Chesley, thank you so much. Well, this afternoon, the treasurer, treasurer rather, of a homeowners association in South Fulton is now in jail. We're talking about Lyndon Baldwin. He surrendered to authorities yesterday, and he's accused of stealing insurance money from condo owners after a fire burned down a building at Camelot Condominium. That's right, and we're hearing now from one woman who owned a condo in the building that burned down. In Love and Alive's Jerry Carnes this afternoon with that story. It is home to neglect, dilapidation, and controversy. It's been three years since Perfect Love watched her investment in Camelot condominiums go up in flames. What's happened since then has only added to her loss. I'm angry. I'm mad as double, you know, H-E-L-L. -L. An empty lot is all that's left of the building where Love and her husband owned one of their 40 condos here. South Fulton Police say Camelot's Homeowners Association received $1.3 million in insurance money following a 2020 fire. Investigators say Precious Love is one of the owners who hasn't received a dime. It's, it's causing us a dilemma in life, not only with just dealing with our properties, but also dealing with our families, and that has been very hard. The HOA's former president and the treasurer are under arrest, charged with theft by taking and theft by conversion. Police initially identified three theft victims, but now say there could be a dozen or more. There are laws in place where there should be proper uh, banking, proper auditing, proper paper trails for everything. Condo owners here have other complaints. Camelot is notorious for crime. There have been 15 homicides here since 2019. Homeowners have asked for changes like security cameras. The city has proposed revitalizing the area with senior housing and retail space. For Precious Love. It's very disappointing, very disappointing. It's making my life harder than it should be. The loss she's suffered here is one she fears will impact her the rest of her life. South Fulton police say they are trying to contact any condo owner who suffered losses during that fire in 2020. They are also trying to find out if they received any insurance money from the HOA.